China is the most dominant force in the electric vehicle world. But it's not just about technology, affordability, and economy of scale anymore. No, this has become a matter of prestige, with a bunch of amazing high-performance supercars coming from the world's leading electric vehicle industry. We present to you nine Chinese electric supercars you must see. BYD Yangwang U9 BYD is already seen as one of the world's leading electric vehicle makers, with impressive battery technology and an impressive overall design for its models. So, the moment the company established itself as a key Chinese electric vehicle company, it was time for the next step to make. It was time to step into the supercar category with the model called Yang Wang U9. And BYD actually went beyond that, offering something we could easily put into the hypercar category with its four electric motors and the maximum output of impressive 1,287 horsepower and 1,239 pound-feet of torque, plenty enough to hit 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.36 seconds, and an 80 kilowatt-hour battery that should provide up to 467 kilometers of range according to the manufacturer. Characterized by its aerodynamic shape, massive rear wing, and cabin design loaded with high-tech features, the U9 may not be as powerful as Remac Nevera, for example. But the Chinese automaker is so confident in its electric supercar that it recently sent it to Nürburgring to break Nevera's record lap time of a little bit over 7 minutes and 5 seconds. And as you would expect, all that performance comes at a super attractive price, as the version for the Chinese market starts at around 1,680,000 yuan, which would be around $232,000 according to the current exchange rates, a performance bargain as some would say. Kyantu K50 Although not in production anymore, the Kyantu K50 definitely earns its place on this list as a true pioneer of the Chinese sports car segment. Introduced in 2018, the K50 was something different. Its two-door sports coupe layout was screaming performance, with a great mix of aggressive front-end design and a sloping roofline in the back, creating a silhouette we used to see from significantly more expensive exotic cars from the West. Styling was definitely one of the key selling points of this sports coupe, which was discontinued just two years later. The company managed to sell around 1,000 units, and even though not mind-blowing by any means, the K50 was more than a decent performer. It came equipped with a couple of electric motors, one on each axle, for a total output of 376 horsepower, enough to hit 100 kilometers per hour in about 4.6 seconds. As for the battery, the 78.1 kilowatt hour pack was enough to ensure around 365 kilometers per charge. Neo EP9. That Chinese electric vehicles aren't just about affordability, we learned long ago with hypercars like Neo EP9. Introduced way back in 2016, the EP9 was never meant to be a street legal car. It was designed specifically for the track, and that uncompromised pleasure cost around $3 million back in the day. For that money, you would get one of the most impressive electric performers the world has seen, even by today's standards, eight years after the original launch. Another piece of information about the EP9 that will blow your mind is that it was developed in just 18 months. Yes, a year and a half was enough to develop a monster that completes a lap at Nürburgring in just 6 minutes and 45 seconds. Four 250 kilowatt electric motors, one on each wheel, for a total output of 1,341 horsepower power and the ability to hit 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.7 seconds. Want to hear more about performance figures? No problem. 200 kilometers per hour in 7.1 seconds, 300 kilometers per hour in 15.9 seconds, and the top speed of 313 kilometers per hour. GAC Ion Hyper SSR Lambo doors and a silhouette that looks as gorgeous as any Western supercar. The GAC Ion Hyper SSR was introduced last October, and we can all agree it represents the pinnacle of Chinese automotive engineering. Exterior carbon fiber elements for weight reduction, aerodynamic features that provide 100 kilograms of downforce, ceramic brakes, and a high-end tech-loaded interior are just some of the reasons why this hypercar costs 1,286,000 yuan, which would be around $176,000 according to the current exchange rates. Of course, the most interesting part is about the powertrain, all-wheel drive system, and a combined output of 1,224 horsepower are enough to hit 100 kilometers per hour in 2.3 seconds, while the top trim level does the same task in 
in just 1.9 seconds, making it one of the quickest production cars in the world. But the SSR isn't just lightning fast. It's also quite autonomous, considering that the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack ensures around 506 kilometers on a single charge. TechRules Ren. One look at the TechRules Ren is enough to start wondering if this is just a car or a part of the Chinese space program, because its aerodynamic shape, complemented with the cabin that opens as a canopy, definitely isn't something we could call common, even in the exotic car segment. Things become even crazier once you get inside the cabin, which mimics the iconic McLaren F1 and its three-seat configuration. But that's just the beginning, as things get even more interesting once you get to the powertrain department, because this hypercar combines two types of fuel that shouldn't go together. On one hand, we have a diesel-powered turbine that feeds the battery. On the other, there's a plethora of electric motors. Base variants come with four, while the high-performance version has six of them. That six-motor version seems particularly interesting, with one motor on each front wheel and two motors on each rear wheel. The total output is rated at 1,287 horsepower and 1,726 pound-feet of torque, plenty enough to hit 100 kilometers per hour in three seconds and a top speed of 330 kilometers per hour. Thanks to the turbine range extender and its 21-gallon tank, the Tecrulis Ren offers autonomy superior to any pure electric vehicle on the market, as the company claims a maximum range of up to 1,170 kilometers. How about that? Bike ArcFox GT Although it looks like a mid-engine supercar, the ArcFox is actually a grand tourer, and its wonderful aesthetics are not even the most exciting thing about it. It's mostly about the powertrain and practical use of the car, due to the respectable 400 kilometers range. That level of practicality comes in a combination with one of the most impressive electric setups in the world, with four electric motors, one on each wheel. Altogether, these electric motors put out an impressive 1,600 horsepower, plenty enough to move this wonderful but over 4,000 pounds, heavy Grand Tourer from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.5 seconds, with the top speed that exceeds 255 kilometers per hour. On top of that, the car features torque vectoring to ensure excellent grip and impressive lap times, even though the track isn't its primary habitat. So far, so great. The only problem with the Acrofox GT is that it never saw serial production. Introduced in 2018, this supercar remained just a concept, and unfortunately, we don't see anything similar on the horizon, as the company is currently focused on SUVs and sedans. MG EXE 181 after a couple of few-year-old models, it's time for something brand new, something that grabbed so much attention for many reasons, starting from the spectacular 0.181 drag coefficient. Many think that's where the name comes from, but it's actually the modern interaction of a namesake concept from the 1950s. Of course, that uber-futuristic UFO-like styling is another thing that grabs much attention, along with a single-seat configuration, something that we haven't seen in a decade since the Lamborghini Egoist concept. Still. The biggest deal about the EXE 181 is its performance. The company still hasn't come up with output figures, but on the other hand, it claims 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 1.9 seconds, making it one of the quickest cars around. And as the new model pays so much tribute to the original, we presume that one of the goals will be to break some speed records, just like the old EXE 181 did in the 50s, when the original concept managed to reach a top speed of 410.2 kilometers per hour. For now, the company keeps most details a secret, and even though the MG EXE 181 is just a concept for now, many believe that the production version could arrive pretty soon. Small sports car SC01. Car makers like Lotus taught us long ago that the ultimate driving experience doesn't depend on power, performance figures, or anything like that. No, it eventually comes down to the lightweight and connection to the road. And that's exactly what this Chinese startup, simply called Small Sports Car, is trying to bring in the all-electric form. 
The SC01 was presented last year with a bit unusual design approach by today's standards. With compact dimensions and a curb weight of a little bit over 2,800 pounds, we are talking about something similar to an Audi TT, and that's why we believe in an excellent driving experience, even though there is the battery and all other things that typically come with electric cars. And in the manner of combustion sports cars, it's all about keeping things simple. So therefore, the SC01 features a couple of electric motors, one on each axle, with a combined output of around 430 horsepower, enough to hit 100 kilometers per hour in less than four seconds. Netta GT Although not exactly a supercar, we think that, as a genuine Grand Tourer, the Netta GT definitely deserves to be mentioned. In contrast to SC01, this is a massive car, with impressive dimensions and plenty of interior space, perfect for fast but long journeys, just what you expect from something with GT in its name. The cabin isn't just spacious, but also equipped with all kinds of tech features, including a massive vertically-oriented touchscreen. The sculpted coupe body draws a lot of attention, and it can be equipped with two electric motors and all-wheel drive. With quite a respectable 456 horsepower and a battery with enough juice to make up to 580 kilometers on a single charge. If you've watched until now, you might be interested in this next video we've lined up for you. See you there!